Okay, well, I have it moved in the basement now. A um, couple of reasons. Wanted to get it down here before we put the stones on because it was going to be a lot heavier. And the main reason is um, because it's just too dusty in my workshop. So I got the stones laid down. It's uh, level in all different directions. And the stones, some of them are thicker than the others. So I have a few of them propped up just a little bit just to try and level it out uh, a little bit more. And like I said earlier, I'm okay if some of the stones actually stick up um, out of the, the resin. They're all below that apron. Um, so it won't stick out any higher than what that apron is. But um, what I'm going to do next is put some of the smaller river stones in between. All right, well, it is completely filled with stone. I didn't want it to get higher than what the level of the rock was. This is the resin that I'm going to use. Um, it's a different name brand that I use for the uh, snake one. It's very specific though. I'll try and brush it on the rock and then pour it in between the, the stones. All right, well, there it is. Um, that's that first thin layer that I put on. Leave it sit for four hours. Get that heat back on. Close the door. See what happens. All right, so I gotta stir it for five minutes. And you can see there's a lot of bubbles in it right now, but that's okay. Okay, here's where Mrs. Capper is right now, getting ready for the second layer. She put this first layer on with a uh, brush following the instructions. So, uh, man, this thing is going to look beautiful. This is going to be an absolutely beautiful coffee table for the man cave basement. We got uh, cedar posts and cedar supports. And the framing is also, I believe, cedar boards. Sweet. All right, so the final coat is on. That was a whole gallon that I used on here. I know it's kind of hard to tell. That's why I'm doing it at this angle here. Um, I might have to go get some more. Um, it filled in the pebbles really good in some areas, but it left some uh, a little bit below the rock.
right, so this is the final layer. This is it. So I'm just going to pour it on and spread it across, and that will be it. Well, I can't believe it. It is finally covered. I was hoping to have more of the rock sticking up um, just for some character. There is in a few places, uh, not quite as much as I was hoping for. This one right here in the front here, it's hard to tell, but it has a couple little pieces sticking up. But it is completely covered. That took two gallons, uh, twice as much as what I thought it would. And that's really the most expensive part of this whole thing. Depending on where you buy them from, um, each gallon is between 70 and 100 bucks. So definitely a little more expensive than I was thinking. But um, you can tell by the reflection of all the lights that are in here that it's uh, pretty much like glass right now. All right, well, believe it or not, it is done. I had it in the room for 72 hours with the heater on so it would dry. Uh, they say it takes several weeks yet for it to cure, so we're not gonna put anything on it um, for a time yet, but it turned out pretty good, pretty much what I was thinking. Um, it does have a couple of rocks that are sticking out just a little bit, which I wanted, so it wasn't just this flat sheet of glass. It's really hard to tell with the reflection in here, um, but that's how shiny the table is. It's reflecting off of everything in the room here. So there you have it. Um, I did end up putting a coat of varnish on the rail, only because if something ever got spilled on it, it would soak right in. So um, it fits in pretty good. I measured it for that couch. Um, it's an average six foot couch and I think it blends pretty good in with the room here in the man cave so thanks for watching and it may be a while before I do another resin project <laughs>